Before participating in the following activity, there are some important things we want you to do. Please remember to practice physical distancing of at least six feet from anyone that is outside of your home. Wear comfortable and proper shoes. Make sure you have an open space around you with no objects or obstacles in the way. Use the proper equipment or alternative objects you can find in your home. And last, stay hydrated and have fun. Hi, welcome to this week's virtual training session for Bocce. We're walking to our local green space to set up something interesting this week. It's like Bocce Croquet, or maybe you could call it Bocce Golf. We'll see what that's all about when we get there. In order to prepare, I've got my water bottle and I have a hat on and maybe I put on sunscreen because it's a sunny day. I'm also wearing comfortable footwear. I have a ball that I can roll and I also have some pencils. We'll see what we're going to do with those. I've got 12 pencils. We're going to keep marching towards our green space. This is part of our warm up. So here we are at our green space. Some activities you might be able to do in your yard or on your sidewalk or in your apartment hallway. Some activities you might be able to do inside your home if it's a rainy day or if you don't have a lot of space. Maybe using a ball of socks. Today, we're gonna set up a course that we're gonna roll the ball through. So I've got all my pencils. And we're going to practice all of our short game and our long game. So I've got some distinctive pens that are going to be my home base. And I'm going to set them about two hand spans apart. Or maybe one hand span apart. And for, the, um, for each of my other five wickets, I'm going to take some, some steps. So I'm going to start with a two step. Five step, a ten step, and then five and two again. So one, two, and my wicket. There's my second wicket. Nine, ten, and you can see I'm making a bit of a challenge as well. And I'm going to make this one about seven. So there I have my course. So before we do our bocce uh, activity, we're going to do a bit of a warm-up. So we want to warm up our arms and our legs and our trunk in general. So we'll take a few minutes to do that. Okay, so by marching here to the green space, we've done a little bit of warm-up, but we're going to continue. We're going to march with big knees and we're going to take our arms up. Two, three, four. We're going to go to eight, six, seven, and out with your arms. We're going to take our arms down. Now we're going to cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, we're going to go to the fours. Four, out. And down. And across. Let's do that again. And out, two, three, four. Keep marching. And across. Let's go in twos. Up, two, out, two, down, two, across, two again. Out, down, across. And do ones. Up, out, down, cross. Up, out, down, cross. Two more. Up, out, down, cross. Up, out, down, and cross. Woo, my blood's flowing and I'm getting a little bit out of breath, which is great stuff to keep us fit and active. When we're doing bocce,
Archie, we are doing a lot of bending. So we're going to do and some, some, le um, some bent knees. So we're going to do some lunging. So we'll just do a few. Your knee's just going to tickle the grass. Your back knee's just going to tickle the grass. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's go in the other direction now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our grass is pretty well mowed, but let's just do some arm circle, uh, wrist circles, and some ankle circles because we are on natural turf here. The grass has been mowed not too re uh, pretty recently. It's not too long, which is good. Okay, so we're going to take ourselves, we're going to pat ourselves on the back with one hand and stretch the back of our arm and the shoulder. I like to count to about 10 or 12 on a stretch. It's usually pretty acceptable. Let's go to the other side. Pat yourself on the back for coming out to practice today. going to go up and over and grab the one elbow and just see how far down your back you can go with your hand. Let's shake it out and the other arm. That's great. So we'll just do a side bend. Take it down to a reach to the side. Again, counting to about 10, down to one leg. In between, see how low can you go? Bend your knees a little bit. You don't want your legs totally straight. That might hurt. Down to the other leg, the other foot. behind my home wicket, which is made up of these cute, two little cute pens I had, and I'm looking towards my first wicket over there, and I'm just going to roll the ball as you do in bocce. Oh, I missed it. I don't know if croquet can go either way, but we're going to be able to go through the wickets any way you need to go. And I'm going to count my throws as I go, so that was throw number one.
toes to get through my course. And with this kind of course, we might like to do it three times to see if we can beat our score. We'll make sure they're standing up. And we're going to go again. Oh, my first hook is right here, two feet away. There's two paces. One. too bad. We can mix it up a little bit by maybe changing our wickets and we can zigzag up the park. Um, you can certainly play this with a housemate. Uh, you could play this um, again in this open green space in your community. You can play it in your yard if you have a big enough yard. However you'd like to play it, get out and play bocce. I'm going to take a quick drink. And then we're just going to do a little cool down. So again, maybe we're going to just roll our shoulders a little bit in both directions. That was 
backwards. So we're going to go forwards. Two, three, four, five. Maybe we'll just do some gentle, just some gentle neck, neck exercises, side to side, ear towards your shoulder. Maybe we're going to look to the right. And we're going to look to the left. Roll your head forwards to the other side. Forwards and roll. Forwards and roll. And forwards and roll. We did this before. We're going to do it again. Let's just pat ourselves on the back for coming out. We'll stretch our back of our shoulder. Shake it out. Same thing on the other side. Again, hold the stretch for 10 to 12 seconds. I'm going to use my friend the tree. It's going to help me as I stretch my big quad muscle. So my knee is pointing straight down. I'm holding my same foot in the same hand. Right foot, right hand. Holding the tree for some balance. Count of 10 or 12. pretty good about having played that game of bocce. What I do need to do is pick up my wickets. This can be like your cool down as well. You don't want to leave anything behind. much for coming out and playing bocce with us this week. Stay tuned every night of the week for a different summer sport and we'll see you back next week for another virtual practice in bocce. Thanks everyone.